Texas A&M travels to Tuscaloosa to play the number one ranked team in the nation. That's the Alabama Crimson Tide. They're given 24 points in this game. At one point, we thought at the beginning of the season, this was going to be a great game. Jimbo Fisher accusing Nick Saban of cheating. Nick Saban accusing Jimbo of cheating in the transfer portal. But the bottom line is both their quarterbacks are dinged up. Heisman Trophy winner Bryce Young. He's got a sore shoulder that's sprained. I don't know if he's going to play in this game, but his backup did a terrific job last week. If you look at Texas A&M, both their quarterbacks, Max Johnson hurt his hand in that game, and Haynes King came back into the game, but he threw two interceptions. Alabama's defense is just too strong, Coach. Henry Tua, uh, Toa Toa has done a terrific job. He's got 33 tackles. But Will Anderson, that linebacker, he'll be one of the top players drafted in next year's draft. He's got five sacks on the season. I think he's going to put too much pressure on the offense of Texas A&M. Bama's given 24. That's a pretty big number, Coach. Yeah, it is. But it is that if you're Alabama giving it to uh, Texas A&M. Texas A&M played great against Alabama last year. They beat Bama at home in a huge upset. Uh, they're three and two. Uh, they paid $30 million in recruiting. Jumbo Fisher gets millions, billions of dollars, which proves you cannot go buy a football team, Mark. You can buy some talent, but they're just not playing particularly well. They have lost uh, two games, should have lost three or four. Mm -hmm. No reason they didn't lose to Arkansas or to Miami. So I look for Alabama, which is just a dominant football team. Hey, you cannot look at a team and find a weakness on that squad. I, I think offense, defense. And Milrow, he, he didn't throw the ball very well. I think completed four out of 11 passes, but boy, can he run the football. Yeah. And uh, he, he averaged 15 yards a run last week on six carries. So uh, you look at that. I think at uh, Alabama, just whether Bryce Young's playing or not, they're going to win this football game 41 to A&M's 10. I've got one of those feelings that – if Nick Saban's got the ball with a minute to go and they're up by 40 points, he's going to throw the ball in the end zone. So I'm going to take Bama in this game to win bigger, averaging 48 points a game. I've got Bama winning this game, double nickels, 55 to 17.